Good morning, Libra. It's Cleopatra here with a quick reading for the week. Some, maybe some daily events that's going to happen to you this week or some events that you should be aware of so you can change the path or direction um, that it could go because you are the master of your destiny. So I'm just bringing to light some situations that could happen um, that you could change, okay? Um, it is Wednesday, November 20th. Luna has entered the room. She's going outside. Her presence is always good in a reading, just so you know. And we also have sleeping Misko there. So anyway, let's get to this reading. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Make my dreams come true. <laughs> I love all you. I love Libras. Okay, let's see. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What messages do we have here for my Libra peeps? And I just want to let you know, if you come across this reading and it's not the week of this week of November 20th, it was meant for you to read. Um, I do believe that. It was meant for you to read. Um... It was meant for you in that moment of time, okay? Let's see. I just shuffled my cards. Let's do an oracle card first so we can begin with something special that's happening for my Libras that they need attention to. Okay, let's give it a good once over. My entertainers of the Zodiac, the Libras. Well, we pulled a resistance card. It is a waxing crescent moon up there. I love the moon. And it is resistance. Let's take it how you want on this. Just look at the card. Focus in on that resistance card. Okay. Are we resisting something this week? My Libras, are you resisting something? Okay, spirit guides, guardian angels. I need you to make some clarification so I can help them. Guide me. Okay. Whew. We started with a reverse of pentacles. Hmm, the pentacles, your possession card, and it's in reverse. And um, the ace is um, a new beginning, um, but it's in reverse. So we are not happy about um, business, career, finance right now, right? Um, I feel like um, something is slipping out of your hand. You thought it was going to happen, and it didn't happen this week or the past week, or it's not going to happen. But let's try to change that up, okay? Just be aware that um, in the business, career, finance, um, something is not going your way, okay? Um, resistance, let's, let's keep that in mind, okay? Remember, we can change these things. Okay, we can change these. Okay, this is good card. This is the Six of Cups. The Cups is your feeling, emotion, heart card. Right? They look really happy. I don't pull this card a lot, um, as much as I'd like to. Um, but... The Six of Cups um, is cooperation and harmony. Um, so this is good. So um, this is letting me know that there's an opportunity to start fresh. So this paired with this is, even though there might be um, a financial loss of some sort, um, of, a, of a business, finance, career, something going on um, that you thought was going to be new or fresh, um, didn't happen. But with a Six of Cups following it, I'm letting you know there is going to be another opportunity. 
okay? There is gonna be another opportunity to start fresh, okay? So um, remember, um, control your mind, okay? So our, our brain waves are frequencies, they're, they're vibes, and our, the universe responds to that. So, um, oh, I just got, I just got a great feeling for this resistance. So don't resist change, okay? So whatever is going to happen or, it, or did happen with the reversed Ace of Pentacles, don't resist it. Don't resist it because look what happened. We got the Six of Cups there and that is, um, is an opportunity to start fresh. So with this resistance, I'm letting you know if you resist this change, if you fight it, if you go against um, that gut feeling, Remember the gut feelings are guardian angels. If you go against that, you're you're gonna have um, you're not gonna see the new opportunity that's in front of you. Okay, it's there. It's coming. Okay, this is good. I know Libras, you like to be fair. Okay, you are all about fairness and justice. And you find it difficult to work in unfair and unjust environments, okay? Don't resist something that is happening in the career, finance, or business. Don't resist that this week, okay? I know it might be unfair, something unfair that happened, but don't resist it, okay? Do not resist it because you have a new opportunity in front of you right behind that. If you resist it, if you make a problem um, because um, something happened that's not fair, remember life's not fair, but... Right around the corner, when one door closes, another one opens. And that's what's showing here with this Six of Cups, okay? Well, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and she's in reverse. So um, the Queen of Pentacles, you know, is uh, again, is your, your possession card. Um, and she's in reverse. So right now, what's happening is she's letting me know that there, you don't have a healthy balance in um in your your finance or your business or your career okay so there's no healthy balance you're you're probably overworking right now you're overworking or you could be underworking you're not um giving it your all or you could be giving it way too much and you're not treating yourself fairly you're not um you're not maintaining a healthy balance okay um also, this is letting me know that some of you are not being um, not being good with your money right now. You're making bad decisions with your money. You could be shopping on the Amazon too much, or you could be um, could be spending too much um, money, like out eating. I'm just letting you know that with this card, there that you need to balance. We need to balance um, your money. Okay. We can turn her upside down with the decisions that you make. Okay, so control your mind and your universe has your back. And I'm talking about controlling your finances. So when you say to yourself, oh, I don't need that, um, you're turning her around, okay? A lot of us um, like retail therapy <laughs> or buying that Starbucks or um, doing something that you know Hey, it's only $10, but guess what? It adds up. Okay. Listen to me on that one. Okay, Libras. Do not resist me on that one. Don't make excuses. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, great. We have a major arcana card here. We have the emperor and the emperor is all in control, right? He's order, he's power, and he sets boundaries. So um, there, with this card, I'm going to follow up with the queen of pentacles. Set boundaries, okay? Be the emperor in your life right now. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Um I'm just looking at him. He's so in control. He has his life together. He has the sword in one hand. And I don't know. 
it looks like a religious stick of some sort because it has a cross on it, but maybe a wand. I don't know if you can see that there, right? Look at it. But he is in control. He has power. I'm feeling that this card... Um, I don't know. I want to I want to say I feel like this is a, a someone strong in your life right now um is going to be talking to you. Um I don't know if it's a parent, if it's um a sibling, if it's someone that you look to as a for a role model. Um I don't know. It could be me telling you. Um but this is a really strong role model. Um or person that you look up to is going to come into your life and give you some advice. Um, follow it, okay? I'm looking at the sword, and the swords are your thoughts card. So don't don't be scared to listen to this person, okay? He is in control. He's a ruler. He sets boundaries. He is is fair, um, and he provides order. So just be looking forward to that, okay? Look forward to someone that's going to come and talk to you um, and give you some advice. Um, just just listen with an open open mind, okay? Listen with an open mind. Okay, my Libra friends. This, um, I really have a good feeling about this card, so wait for this person. Be expecting him or her could be a her it's just someone who's really strong and in control is gonna come into your life and give you some advice and talk to you okay um, and be careful of your thoughts Libra right this week be careful of your thoughts um, do not have negative self-talk right now you don't need any negative self-talk okay um, you are the fairest of the signs and um, and only good things are going to come to you this week, but you have to, um, you have to know that when one door closes, another one opens. Okay, so right here, I just keep coming back. There's going to be a new opportunity um, for something this week. Okay, just let that go. Don't resist what happened at work or with your career. Don't resist it this week. Just let it go. Um, let it go, okay? Because something new is coming. And control your spending. Control it this week. I'm looking forward to, s to some comments to, um, to the emperor that's coming into your life this week, Libras, okay? Oops. Thank you for listening. And Luna just walked in. She's under the table. That's a good sign. Okay. Um, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.